Hello Perfect Game Softball officials, and welcome to another video in our training development series. In today's video, we'll be looking at plays at the plate and discussing the mechanics officials should implement to make these calls. It is recommended that when taking plays at the plate, that officials work to achieve point of plate stance to give flexibility in their calling positions when possible. As we look at our first play, it should be noted that there are two major types of plays that are going to occur at the plate when the runner coming in. First, the runner sliding directly into the plate or the potential for a swipe tag on the back side of the plate. These are the two opportunities the runner is going to take to score majority of the time. Officials should know the positioning and read the play from the runner coming into the plate. Let's watch our first play. Now that you've had the opportunity to watch the play, let's break this play down. The runner is sliding directly into the plate and not going for a backside swipe. The best position to make this call is first baseline extended. This allows the official to see the ball being caught, the runner sliding in, the catcher maintaining possession of the ball, and ultimately calling the out. Had this throw been on time, the plate official would have been in perfect position to make the call regarding the play. In the next video, you're going to see another example of first baseline extended calling position for a play at the plate. Let's watch the video. In this video, we see the throw and the ball beat the runner. The catcher does a nice job of blocking the plate and the runner slides directly into the plate. Now, the first base calling position would be the prime position for this call and the umpire chooses correctly. I should note, the umpire should remove their mask at all times when the ball is live and when trying to make a call on the play. I do commend this official on his patience and seeing the play all the way through and seeing the catcher drop the ball. The next play we're going to view is a swipe tag at the plate. The umpire correctly uses the point of plate and moves into the wedge positioning to keep the ball and the tag application in his lane of view. Let's watch the play. During the play, the plate umpire will begin at point of plate. Then, as the play progresses and he reads that it's going to be a swipe tag, he moves to the right side of the plate to keep the ball and the tag application in his clear lane of view. This allows him to not put any obstructions, whether it be the runner's body or the fielder's body, in between his view of the tag application. The next play we are going to view gives us an understanding of why working the wedge positioning and understanding that reading the play is so vital to getting the call right. Let's watch the play. At this point in the play, the ball is in the outfield and the umpire should be working the point of play and being able to read that there is no potential play at third base. The runner is rounding third base and heading home. The ball is going to be thrown from the outfield. Had this official been correctly working point of play, he would have had the flexibility to move with the ball, read the play, and keep all elements of a tag play within his view. Instead, he has taken a position that has put the catcher's body in between his view of the tag application. Had the official worked point of play, and used the wedge to maintain view of the tag application, he would have gotten this call correct. I chose this next play because too often in a two umpire system, officials are moving just to a desired place. They think that they're required to move to a certain spot on every play. Ultimately, you should be reading the play and allowing the play dictate where you move. 
Often, we see plate officials moving defaultly to the third base holding zone. In this play, you are going to see how the plate umpire defaulting to the third base holding zone hinders his ability to get the call right, ultimately proving he should have read the play or read the play sooner, and that would help his positioning on this play. Now that you've gotten the opportunity to view the play, let's break the play down. At this point, the ball is hit to the outfield and the plate official has the responsibility of the view of catch, no catch. Ultimately, the fielder is not going to catch the ball. The plate umpire now has responsibility for the lead runner and is going to be turning his attention to her. As we talk about reading the play, when should the plate umpire have read potential play at the plate and given up the commitment to third base? It is at this point the plate official should read the play is not going to take place at third base and his responsibility and his attention should turn home. The lead runner has safely attained second base and is already advancing to third and the ball is not possession of any defender in the outfield. The plate official should work to move back to point of plate. The plate official's overcommitment to third and late read of the potential of the play at the plate allowed him to put the runner in between his sight of the tag application. Ultimately, this official should have had a read on the play sooner of the play at the plate, working point of plate, allowing himself to work the wedge and keep the visibility of the tag application. The next video we are going to watch is a great example of the plate umpire working the point of plate and ultimately moving to the wedge position reading a swipe tag at the plate, keeping all elements in his view of tag application. The umpire reads that a potential of play at the plate, moves to point of plate, and moves to the right, keeping a wedge view of the tag application to the runner. Our final play we're going to view has multiple elements. The first element is a ruling on whether the ball is fair or foul and this will determine the plate official's first movement. After that, the plate official has to quickly move and read the play and get the best attainable position for the play. Let's break this play down step by step. The umpire's first judgment to this point is fair or foul, and that is his first responsibility. The umpire correctly points the ball fair and attains a position from first baseline extended to make a credible ruling on this play. Now the plate official must now turn his attention to the play with the runner coming into home plate. At this point, the plate official's positioning has been determined by the fair or foul judgment. Now, the umpire must read that there is going to be a potential swipe tag after the umpire determines there was no tag applied on the catcher's first attempt, he moves to a subsequent calling position for the next play. Working to keep all elements in his view and makes the correct call on this play.